Hi, it's Christian here and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to tie this one. A... Let's see if you can get... There we go, it's a progress. Very natural, lifelike uh, little shrimp pattern for the for spring. It's spring is upon us, so I want to tie something that's uh, very similar to the real thing. Uh, a little easy shrimp pattern here and it doesn't consist of many materials and when it gets wet it gets a really nice coloring with the, with the different materials I chose for this one. So you're gonna need some um, white GSP, this is from Revis, and then I'm gonna go with the, the Arix light stinger in size 6 and I chose the transparent smoke grey uh, easy revise and these are the big ones because of all the small, the small, the small, uh, it's the small ones. Uh, yeah, they're just too small for, for this pattern. A bit of polar bear if you have that, or something similar to make the antennas. Some red tapioca resin to secure the eyes, and uh, the dubbing is the SLF dubbing in tan, mixed with a little bit of uh, SLF prison pearl up, uh, and some. Uh, Teal flank feathers for mouth parts. A little bit of flashy glow in the dark pearl, pearl a glow, flash a boo, it's called. And to get the color you want, I'm gonna go with some cochlear in the Pardo. This, this one could go, go with that one as well, but this one is really nice. That's all I need for this little, very lifelike uh, shrimp pattern for the spring fishing. Here we go. This is the one we're tying. A 10 hockey long swim. And I put in my vise a, a light stinger, size 6. Almost as always. And some beaver power for it. And I'm gonna start by taking a teal teal flank feather like this and prepare it in advanced. And just uh, tying it in, in down here. As a as mouth parts, I'm just gonna take a few loose wraps and just pull until I've got the desired length of my of my, of my teal flank feathers like that. Okay, these are gonna go look nice. Then I'm gonna grab some SLF dubbing in tan and some SLF prism dub in in uh, pearl and mix it up like this. And you don't really want much uh, pearl in your blend. That's up to you how much you want. I don't want it too pearly to be honest, but just a little bit. The eyes, of course, are these ones, the, the transparent smoke grainy ones in medium size because I think there's extra small ones are just a tad too small for this one. I'm just gonna tie them in. Stand up a little bit and then uh, some uh, rates of UV resin as well. And the knee here to make sure they don't go anywhere. Could put some 
lead wire, non lead wire now underneath the, uh, the the eyes here, making sure they. If you want the weighted fly, but I don't want that for this one. I'm gonna grab some more of my little rubbing blend here and try to align the fibers. a little bit in between the eyes, really not much. Then I'm going to grab my, just move that, my polar bear, polar bear. If you don't have that, something else, uh, yeah, you kind of hear material in similar colors, it should be, should be doable to find in your possible to find in your stash. Just gonna grab a little bunch and get rid of the under fur. Tie these in. Then I am going to grab this one. Flash a boom pearl a pearl a glow close in the dark, oh my lord. Uh, I'm gonna take the pearly ones, just one, pearly or two actually, pearly straws of this. I'm not gonna grab the orange. See, there's both, both orange and pearl in this, in this flash above, which is really nice. It's up to you what you want. Could, could, could just go without any flash at all. Not much, much flesh in the lifelike tan shrimps anyway, but yeah. While you're at it, might as well. I'm gonna tie this in on top. And then I'm just gonna try to spread them out a little bit. These uh, flesh drawers so they don't just end up in a straight line when you can sweat. But just to add a little bit of attention to the fly, this is, these are too long, I'm gonna trim them later. Trim them later. Then I'm gonna grab some more of my dubbing. to get the, the taper of the fly or the, the correct uh, shape or whatever it's, what it's called sorry See, if you use this, the dark smoked, what's the name of again? The trans transparent smoke gray eyes in, in extra small, they were, they were almost disappeared in between all the dubbing. So that's why I chose this one. All the way back up again. Then it's time for the, the whiting pardo. This one, which is really nice feather to be honest, cocktail. And I took a feather and prepared in advance. Took half of the stem, half the fibers off because I think it's a bit too much. It, uh, both sides. I'm going to tie this stuff in at the side of the of the fly. Cover. 
the hook and the stuff I did already with a thin, very thin layer. Some more dubbing, some more dubbing in a you know, wanna, wanna figure layer so we have something to comb out in a sec. And you also want to have the right table of the fly, so I'm adding more up here. Here I'm gonna use my feather in just a second. <laughs> Similar distance between each each wrap and uh, like four ish, four four and a half wrap or something like that, and then just secure. bit of a big hit over here that's because I want to make sure the the cocky long feather is not gonna go anywhere I'm just add a, a tiny drop of retap fin to make sure it stays because now I'm gonna use my brush to brush the whole thing Translucent and uh, correct coloring for a small tan spring shrimp in the shallow water that's heating up. That should be a real snack for a sea trout, that's for sure. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and will find and uh, have a look at some of my, my other tutorials on my daily channel. Subscribe and like for more content, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.